Yo, guilty, there go your mans. They're airborne right now. It's an APB out here in New York. I don't know where he's at. You can't get me to talk. He ain't up here, it's too cold for him up here. Y'all go where the sun is at. Nah, nah. Alright, we got 46,000 pounds of rebar. That's what we're looking at. We're gonna do the full thing. Tarps. Uh, oh, that's beautiful. We're gonna uh, we're gonna strap this thing and tarp it and get out of here. I'm gonna take you with me. So I was coming through here and I saw this white animal. I wasn't going slow enough and I'm, I was paying attention to the road, but I saw it at a glance. And I was also paying attention to this truck that was off to the left. So I couldn't really be paying attention to this animal, this white animal that I see up the road, like this road, like up here, it's like that. But there's one, it's, it's back there. So I don't think nothing of it, you know. Uh, let's get this out of the way. So I don't think nothing of it. Uh, when I get down here, when I, uh, the first thing I thought of, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think too much into it. I just, I'm like, all right, that's an animal. When I saw the truck, the first thing I thought was like, that must be that dude's dog. This thing was bleach white. So I get here, I start talking to the guy. I'm like, man, this place is like secluded, gated off. He's like, yeah, there's a correctional facility. The um, Four Points Correctional Facility. And I said, so who owns all this land? He's like, my boss. Oh, I said, yo, that's, that's crazy. I see this white animal, so I get down here, I got time, I'm talking to the guy, I'm like, hey man, I was driving down here, I saw this white animal. He's like, yeah, it's a deer. I said, what? I said, no, it was like bleach white. He said, yeah, they're deer. He said, this is only one of two places in the world that had a deer. He's like, and it's, it's not even a, uh, like a uh, albino, it's a rare gene of deer. I said, man, that's crazy. I mean, this thing was like white as could be, you know? So, um, I asked them, I asked them, were they protected? So I asked him about the deer. I said, Where are they protected? He said, Yeah. I said, Do people respect it? He said, Yeah. I said, That's good. That's cool. Because I found it really interesting. I need to belly wrap. I want to belly wrap. I got that belly wrap. I got that and belly wrap. This is a problem I run into with these, these Benson trailers. Me and my man Ben Rich was discussing this the other night. You see this winch? It doesn't go any further. Tam C wants two straps in the first four feet. So I'm gonna have to throw two two-inch straps over the first four feet of that.
which me personally, I just don't think two inch straps is gonna hold that rebar. I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten straps on it. But we do what we're supposed to. Don't cut any corners. Actually, you know what I could do? Chain. We'll do a chain. chain and a strap in the first six feet and we'll do a, a fourth bulkhead I think I, th I think that's that's plenty no what do you guys think feel free to comment I like to go around the steak pocket. Steak pocket is uh that's what they're made for. I don't personally know if the wells the welds on the steak pocket are stronger. I know they're rated. I'm not too sure what my steak pockets are rated at, but it's all right. Plenty of thread left, just in case that needs to be adjusted. Edge protector.
this edge protector on there because this rebar is poking a damn hole right in there right in my tarps I don't want that What I need to get What I need to get Is some portable winches Oh beautiful We're gonna belly wrap that Nice I need some portable winches for this trailer, these Benson trailers, because then I could just set up a portable winch and that first four feet will never be a problem again. I don't like I don't like the way that you see you see the way that's sitting I don't like that so, so that's why I'm really the belly wrap stop any forward movement help with preventing forward movement and come on and it also uh, unitizes the bundle, which also gives it a little more sturdiness. The rain is here. I don't want to belly wrap that. We want to wrap it good. And just a word of the wise, you don't ever want to strap over that light. Not one, because it needs to be visible. And two, because once you pull them straps tight, it can break the light. The reason I know is because it's happened before. <laughs> I've done it. Uh, not with TMC. Uh, with my last company. And uh, so now, I'm a little cautious of that. Okay. Let's get this damn thing tarped, because the rain is here it's cool when people let me know what they like to see um because i like making them so you know um i really like tarping so whenever i get the chance to do a tarping video it's cool but like i said i gotta upgrade on some of my technology and I'll be able to put out some more. But uh it's good when people let me know what they like. Alright. Let's walk this back. Be careful. Walking it back. Look, the rebar is already trying to poke holes in it.
first thing I want to do is even out my tarp. I really don't like that that board is sticking out on the other side. Um, let's pull this over that. One way I know it, I'm centered, this is the center D-ring. And that's right in the center. Of the, I just gotta make sure the rest is uh, right. So let's pull it. All right, so what I like to do is, so what I like to do first is get this locked. So, now point your, point your hooks away from the tarp. Let's get that under, underneath. Right? Underneath. What that's going to do is going to give it a nice wrap. Let's get that one. The reason I'm locking this back first is you'll see in a minute. Get up underneath. reason I locked that back first is because now I can square it up and now I can pull it tight forward and that's what I'm going to do now okay so now that that's fastened back there now I can pull this as tight as I need to Right, and you pull it tight. You want the top tight too. So, pull out as tight as you need to. Let's get this, because you know, this is where we want that. So I mean, now nah, I just lucked out with that falling, falling right there like that, that's just perfect. You can't get any better than that. All right. We'll go do the other side. We might not even need all these, but just in case, we'll set ourselves up. I'm dropping them. Same thing on this side. We're gonna pull it as tight as possible.
beautiful. Come to the middle. When we get to the back, it just takes some uh, Shit, it's slippery as hell. If I can get some D-rings. There we go. That's what I need. Some D-rings. Yep. 
come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. Right there. Right? We need some D-ring action. feeling so I'm gonna hook that that one right there cuz uh, I have a feeling that's gonna um, that's gonna try and come loose on me coming down the road That's what it's looking like so far. That's how we like it. We like it beautiful, sexy, you know? That tarp looking sexy. You know what y'all saying? I don't know if the tarp is looking sexy to you. We got some other type of issues, right? <laughs> Oh shit. Let's get that. Remember I said going down the road. The wind is blowing underneath the load. So you want to make sure that is fastened and fastened well. And what we're gonna do. Come on. Let's go and get this up and over. Beautiful. Right? Right? Um, it's all wet. The gloves are wet. It's the elements. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everything's slippery now. Careful, tarp is wet. She can get dangerous quick. Alright, front tarp, we're gonna do the same thing. Do it backwards, right? We're gonna lock down.
Make sure we're centered. That D ring is in the center. All right? All right. This one right to the chain because uh, that one the wind oops I just shifted it the wind is gonna be hitting that the wind is gonna be hitting it so it's not really gonna blow it anywhere so you don't gotta really worry too much about it Coming out of place. Let's move that back over. There we go. Oh. Yep. Up over that piece of dunnage. Stay. All right. So we got our front lock down. Nice wrap tight. Right. Let's go get our back. Same thing. Backwards. Remember what we did? Hook this one. can just go get straight like that. We can do that. Then we can hook this one and go underneath. All the same. adjusted in the end but it's good for now same thing right just like a haircut you want to do the same thing on both sides I don't know why I talk like I know how to cut hair because I don't but I would assume that's what you do right you want your fade to be the same on the both sides Got about six and a half hours left on my clock. Got about a six hour ride. It's gonna be tight. We'll see, we'll see how we do. But this video is about the tarpon and the strapping. 46,000 pounds. Find the middle. Saves us some time. We don't gotta roll it. We want that to hold us. Hold it up. Right? 
hold it because I don't, I don't want it to pull the other side. I don't want it to make it uneven. So I'm just loosely pinning it up basically. out of here we're almost out of here we need to keep everything organized Everything organized. doing remember we're not fastening it we're just pinning it up we're just pinning it up let's just pin it up let's just pin it up Make it happen.
Yo, guilty, there go your mans. They're airborne right now. It's an APB out here in New York. So, I want that to sit down. I don't want that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know where he's at. You can't get me to talk. I don't know where he's at. He ain't up here, it's too cold for him up here. Y'all go where the sun is at. Nah, nah, I only want, can't get me to talk. <sighs> I'm guilty if they said I said something, they lying. Don't matter anyway, I know you won't believe that shit. <sighs> we don't do that. This shit is against the cold, man. Meek say, give me a hundred years in a hole on the sun, burn a hole in my tongue. Some shit like that. That's my joint too. Matter of fact, I need to, shoot, I'm gonna have to do the little intro with that. I don't want one fucking thing I'm trying to bite though. For this person, biting off of that person, I'm on my man. Uh, loaded got a meat joint. Uh, all right, let's, 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 all right, I'm going. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Let's get it right. Let's get it right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the tarpon. Now, final touch. Let's prevent any forward motion. All right, just in case we got some four wheelers. I feel like they need to pair them on their brakes. Y'all probably wondering what happened to your door, Choice. I closed it and didn't lock it. And the damn thing came open on me while I was turning in a lot after the shipper told me that I needed to go down, turn around, and park in a certain spot so they could load me. Sure enough, when that door popped open and I made that turn, all I heard was poof. too high with this uh, false bulkhead because the load ain't that high so we're good alright we're good let's get that chain ha good catch Come out, I knew it. Your turn. Sit here. 
Zo, deur. Zij. 